some say you shouldn't invest if you got debt and this and that. What do you think about it? So whatever debt you have, it makes sense to pay it off because that's going to free up more discretionary income for you to invest and to save. I would want you, Joe, to, to go to a Fidelity, a TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, one of those. You can do it online. You go there, you open up a Roth IRA account. If you open up that Roth account and you put $500 a month in that, you'll be maxing it out every year. And I would tell you to pick something like an ETF and just put $500 a month in that. Put the other $500 a month to your debt. Get that debt paid off as quick as you can. But, you know, so work on both of them at the same time at this point. And I think, and obviously at some point in time, your debt is going to get paid off. When that debt gets paid off, I would continue for at least six months to put another 500 out, keep putting that 500 hours only now towards your savings account. Not your investments, that's different. Your savings account. Because it's your savings account, Joe, that is gonna keep you out of debt. Because if your transmission blows in your car, you can go to your savings account and you can use that money to fix your transmission as opposed to using a credit card. And so it's important that you have a good savings account. And then you can start switching that 500 hours Take it to 250 in your savings account or 200, and then use that to go into your investment account as well. 